Hey y'all, I'm back. Thanks everyone for watching the video from yesterday. Like and subscribe and comment and whatever. Um, today it's gonna be a little bit better. Um, I actually know what I'm doing this evening, unlike yesterday. It's gonna be real quick, something simple that you can do for meal prep. Um, so let's go. I will be doing fresh salmon with a pan, um, pan fried or pan seared asparagus. Um, I got fresh salmon from Aldi. Make sure y'all pay attention for them good old red labels. Got it an extra two dollars off. Um, this piece I'll be able to cut it into at least three to four servings. So it'll feed us all. All right, I'm put it on my cutting board. Let's see, can we get it in the picture? That's the problem. All right, so for the salmon, I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it into thin pieces. I'll get three pieces out of this one. Trying to get through this skin is a little on the tough side. But I have learned that fresh salmon is so much better than that frozen stuff. I used to try to be cheap and buy this, this, the frozen salmon in the store. It is not the same, okay? FYI, invest in some kitchen cheese because this is stupid, okay? This is dumb. But yes, like I said, I used to try to be cheap and buy the little frozen um salmon fillets because I know like for instance all these you get like a good five or six pieces of salmon in the bag for $3.99 but the crepe is so thin like by the time it cooks you got nothing nothing this salmon here listen y'all I'm tearing it up because I cannot get through the skin I'm going to buy me some kitchen shoes tomorrow and I'm sick of this all right, so I have three pieces. I done ripped it all up trying to cut the big one quick. But they are three nice size pieces. Bria, can you show them this one, Cameron, please? I gotta wash my hands. Can they see it? All right, so yo, that's the three pieces that I cut it into. And you see they real nice and thick. Um, So when I cook them, they still wanna be, there you go. They are still, Going to have some substance to them. Them little frozen ones. By the time you cook them, you got with nothing. All right. So my seasoning is real quick, basic, but it's so good. Okay. Yellow mustard and some magic salmon seasoning, baby. This stuff right here get you some. Quick little dab do you? Just a little bit of salmon, okay? Three mustard, even, little, mm, mustard? little bit of mustard. Y'all be saying all kind of stuff. What'd you say? Give me a little knife, please. And the salmon seasoning. We're going to coat that on there pretty good. Don't ask me no questions about how much sodium is in it or how much this, that, and the other. I said it's good. That's all it made. Get you some, okay? We're going to take and just smear that little mustard in a little bit to hold it down. Like I said, they're coated with the magic salmon seasoning. Real simple. I promise you, it's going to be amazing. Oh, you know what I like to add? Give me one second. This stuff right here. I don't even remember where I found this at. But this, it is so dead good. What did I say? Joe Life Rice Seasoning. But you can put it on your seafood and stuff too. Just a little sprinkle, y'all. Listen. Trust me, okay? I know I lost a lot of weight. But I'm still a fat girl inside. And I know good food when I say it. Okay? So that's all I did. A little bit of mustard. Magic salmon seasoning. And a little sprinkle of this Joe Life Rice Seasoning. The three of these things on the salmon. I'm about to pop this in the air fryer for 10 minutes, okay? It will be done, but slightly under. So that that way, when I heat it up with my meal prep stuff, 
pop it in the microwave, it won't be overcooked. If you plan on eating it right now, go ahead and just do it for 15 minutes in the air fryer, okay? So we're gonna set this aside while we get the next piece going. Brie, can you get the air fryer set up for me, honey? All right, the next, what's going with that is, um, we'll just put it in there. Yeah. What's going with that is the asparagus, okay? So, with the asparagus, I, um, I'm going to do a, um, garlic parmesan with a little bit of lemon pepper, just a little lemon pepper, but the flavor profile is garlic parmesan, okay? Okay. So, I'm trying to keep my camera clean in the process because I'm working with not too, too much space over here. But we're going to make it work. Alright, so while I'm getting this asparagus ready, Bria is um, popping those salmon pieces in the air fryer. Alright, so, for the asparagus. Now, I went to the store on Saturday, and I have been so busy that I wasn't able to do my meal prep like I normally do. So they, while they were fresh, fresh when I bought them, they've lost a little of their freshness. So I'm going to see if this trick still works. So with asparagus, if you just take and bend it, then quite naturally it's going to bend at the most tender spot, and that way you'll get rid of all of the um. The hard piece. Oh, see, there you go. It snapped on its own. So that's the part that you would throw away. This is the part that you would keep. You just bend, it's going to snap, okay? Bend, snap. You keep the part that doesn't, um, you know, that breaks away. Now, what, now this one, see, this one is a little funky. I'm going to trash that one. It should be a real, there we go. Now, based on what I got here, I'm going to just line them up and cut the rest right around the same size. Because I ain't got time, okay? It's been a long day for me. I've been up since 5 something this morning. I done went to the gym. I ain't got time for all of this once to hand pop every last single one. But that's a tip for you all to know, okay? So, let's go over here. So now we are going to use the cast iron skillet, right? Let me see if we can get this a little bit. Okay, cast iron skillet, right? Got a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit, nothing serious, okay? In this pan, we're going to put some fresh garlic. Hmm? Oh, okay. Mommy's key. She talking about she want a cookie, but the camera right here. Why they won't let me be great? They the ones that ask to do this stuff, but then you see what I mean? Who asked to do this? All right, so some garlic. I'm being a little bit generous with it. We're gonna season this all up. I'm gonna turn this pan on a medium heat. Okay, we're gonna let that go for a few just to get it moving, let the, the oil get a little flavor to it, and then we're gonna pop this asparagus on. My salmon is looking good, y'all. This is the asparagus. All right. So, 
So, we're going to try to get it where every piece is touching the pan a little bit. I'm going to season this with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm using pink Himalayan sea salt. Just a little. And um, some black pepper. Again, just a pinch. Okay, so those are doing what they're doing. While they're doing that, I'm going to move some stuff around real quick. with the um with that banana bread yo I don't even know how we even got here okay because me trying to do this YouTube stuff was never part of the plan that's my key setting me up however I'm grateful for the opportunity to do stuff with them you see tonight they they all up in the video how they were last night um but believe me, they will be back plucking my nerves and there probably will be some more um, ghetto made up, don't know what I'm doing type situation. But um, tonight, I just wanted to come to y'all and show y'all some stuff that I do for meal prep because I have been very busy this week and haven't had a chance to do it and I need to get this stuff out of my refrigerator before it goes big. I got some more food um, that I need to cook tomorrow so there will be another video coming. But this is something that's really quick and simple and it's healthy. Um, now my seasonings, I do not do salt free stuff, okay, but I do find some kind of compromise where, um, you know, I'm going to have the flavor, but I may cut out on something else. Like for me, I don't eat the, um, like bread, pasta, rice, stuff like that. Um, I'm typically a chicken or fish type person with that. I can never do a video without them doing stuff. Hold on, y'all. All right, so I'm dead. The dead going to dead walk and people with the door. But, um, yeah, so I pretty much do chicken and fish with a vegetable. Um, I don't do the rice pasta, bread, none of that stuff, soda. So I feel like I can compromise and have well-seasoned food because I'm not doing all of the other dead stuff. Um, I will eventually, you know, show y'all some pictures and videos of my frog rice. But I have lost 60 pounds. Um, over the course of the year, um, I've become extremely active. However, changing my diet has been the most important component to my weight loss. Um, and my goal in trying to help other people is just to show them that being healthy does not mean you have to be hungry. I'm not against people who do plant-based diets or who try to, um, you know, like being pescatarian or vegetarian or what other Aryan they may be. Um, but I'm definitely an advocate for food that tastes good, okay? Um, and again, it's all about compromise and balance. So, um, in just a few more minutes, we have... Two minutes left on the air fryer. The asparagus is looking good. We'll have a meal. And like I said, I like to cook my um, salmon just slightly under. It's done, but it's slightly under to the point where the, when I go to reheat in the microwave, then it won't be overcooked and, and nasty. Okay. So the asparagus is looking really good. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of lemon pepper just for flavor. I think it's really good on vegetables. Very light seasoning. And um, some Parmesan cheese. Now make sure when y'all buy your Parmesan cheese, it don't say um, made with uh, Parmesan cheese product or something like that. Like it needs to be real Parmesan cheese. Because um, when you 
So down all that other stuff, then that's when you add more problems to your meals. Like try to keep your food as simple as possible. Like this was brought in the refrigerator. Don't buy no, you can't buy Parmesan cheese off the shelf. It don't come that way. Not if it's real cheese. All right, so just to give y'all a closer look at this asparagus. I don't know nothing about how to work this, y'all. But yeah, so this is garlic parmesan with just a sprinkle of lemon pepper. Oh, gee, a little sprinkle of lemon pepper. I did um a pinch of Himalayan sea salt and a pinch of black pepper. And these are done. They're done. Now going back over to this other side, just so y'all can see, the salmon is in the new way. And it is just about done, okay? It'll be coming out any minute now. We have actually one minute on the... Oh, there it is now. If I is done. So give me a second so that I can plate this. And I'll be right there. Alright, guys. So here is the final product. This took me literally like 15 minutes to make. Um, Yeah, we're at 16 minutes on this video. And I've taken breaks in between and everything. So this is the finished product. We have a nice thick piece of salmon, well seasoned. It's gonna be so tender and flaky inside. The garlic parmesan asparagus. I swear on everything, y'all. This dog do not let me be great. It don't make no sense. He just bought for no reason. But this is it, guys. Give it a try. Hope you enjoy.